Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome back to the crew once again. Today what we're going to be doing is upgrading this in Perth. Again, you guys were asking for it, so I am going to do it. I'm going to provide. Uh, we need to get this thing a kit on. What does it do? I don't even... Uh, numbers. It changes some numbers. But I don't care, I just want to know how it drives, because all the cars are basically the same. Uh, balance performance-wise, which is very good, but let's hope there's some customization parts in, because the last DLC there wasn't any. Some people were okay with that. I was like, yeah, it should be, a, should be, should be some parts. But we're going to see if it's got parts. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, that was, a, that was the wrong thing. We've got lights on the front of it for a perf car. That's kind of new to me. I don't- I kind of like it. We shall go with Yusa. Yes, please. And then for the rear bumper, we have got hopefully a lots of options and hopefully some huge exhausts. Um, yeah, we'll put the carbon wrap- carb carbon shrimp wrap lights, that's what we'll go. No fenders, no rear fenders, side skirts, what do you got? Mm, ooh, that's a difficult one. I like that, I like that, because it, then it goes around the car. It looks cool. Rims have been chosen. I think I'm probably going to make this blue as well. I'm not too sure. Oh my god, we got wings, we got wings. Ho! 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 God, okay. I think they made this in mind that I was going to be customizing it. And do we have a carbon hood? We don't, but we have that. So I'm going to go with that instead. Yes. Yes, that's a stupid wing. I love it. It's perfect for the car. Oh, I kind of like that metallic orange. That looks pretty damn cool. Now, this is going to take some time. I want to decide on a sticker to go with. We have no animals on there. Or flags or flames. Let's go with this simple three stripe setup thingy bobber. And then for the interior, which will be the final piece. Nothing, mate. Nothing. So we're done. Let's see how it goes. So I found a decent chunk of road that I have yet to bloody drive on. I have no idea why I haven't driven on it yet. I'm very disappointed in myself, but that wing looks a little bit smaller now they're actually driving it. But again, the car sound sounds different. Sounds awesome. What's the cockpit view like? Oh, yes, it's definitely a Mini Cooper. Yes, I feel as if I'm in a Mini Cooper. I don't know. It does feel a lot more controllable than I thought it would. Like, I know it's kind of, I guess, in a way, because it's heavy, you know, cars heavy in the car. I mentioned every bloody, every bloody time, but heavier cars in the crew means it's more planted and it drives better. So, that would probably explain why this thing is- Okay! Okay! Mi Whoa! Okay! We're gonna take this corner off here, because this is another section that I have not driven- I didn't know where the road was! See? Look at that! Control controllability! It's got it! Come on! Okay, this is a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, I've definitely never been on this route before. It was, like, grayed out on the map, so obviously I've never, never been here on this save anyway. I thought I may have gone over it in the beta or something, but no! Maybe I've been to this bit. No, I haven't. This is, this is new to me. This is a really cool spot to take a mini countryman. So, I'm tempted to kind of, like, take this thing off-road in a sort. Not, like, take it off to a dirt road or something. Like, take it to... It's kind of like the, you know, the really compressed dirt roads that you see. I want to try and take it to one of those, because I think... It, I want to see how it handles there, because it's a mini countryman, but also a race version of a mini country. It'll be interesting, all right? Look at that! That's a brilliant slide. It's got useful... So Airtime! Come on, take the corner well. Look at two wheels! <laughs> Here's a stupid corner. Here's a stupid corner. Here we go. Yes, two wheels! <laughs> that is awesome. It just goes as it should. It's a big, heavy car, but they would probably flip over if you pushed it way too much, like we're doing. But thankfully, the crew physics actually save us from dying. So the Mini Countryman is not useless, otherwise it would be. Look at that! Stupid American car in me way. <laughs> so, we're kind of in the country. Well, we're not. We're in the countryman in the mountains. Well, this is the type of road I wanted to go on anyway, so it doesn't matter. I wanted to try it on these types of road. There's a big bloody swoop coming here, so I'm probably going to kill it. I'm going to... Okay, slow down, slow down. I should probably slow down. Oh, my God! <laughs> these are the types of roads. I picture a mini countryman being... Oh my god, it's doing it again. Well, to be honest, I more see this being driven around, well, the city than the country. But, hey, oh, maybe it's a multi-purpose car. I'm doing the test for you. The test on the crew, not real life, but I'm testing. Like, can you take your mini countryman countrying? The answer is yes, if you want to go on two wheels and probably kill yourself. 
um, then the Mini Countryman is for you. Then again, I doubt, I doubt many people would be driving at stupid speeds down a hill, down a mountain, should I say, and stupidly fast upgraded Mini Countryman. Science! But it is ridiculously freaking cool to drive this thing down a hill at stupid speeds. Hold the crew! Okay, we're gonna kill it again. We're gonna flip it! We hit the tree. We're dead. See, you all died. Why'd you do that? Going off-road in a mini- in a mini country- Are you stupid? Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you're falling down a hill at stupid speeds in a mini country, then can you save yourself before you drown? The answer's yes! So there you go! If you're scared about falling off a cliff, you can break before you go in the rink. Amazing. Now, can we reverse? Let's see if we can- Yes, we can! Yes, we can we power back up? Come on, Mini Countryman! We'll make our way around. We'll, we'll, we'll go balls to the walls here. Come on! Quicker! Don't go in the drink! <laughs> See, if you're in a Mini Countryman, you don't only stop yourself from dying by going in the drink. You can actually probably go in the drink. Yes! No. So there you go, that was my kind of first initial impression slash review of the Mini Countryman in Perth. Though, to be honest, we did- <laughs> Did that happen? We did more off-roading in the Perth version than we did in off-roading in the off-road version, probably. But it's a mini country, I don't care. Anyway, let me hear your thoughts. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm probably going to upgrade this to max because I just buy the parts because I'm lazy. And uh, try this online. If you want to see more PvP, be sure to leave the like and I'll probably drive this the next time or whatever. But until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. We found the road. Now I am a countryman. Yes.